On average, you spend 260 hours per year wasting time at work. And while I don't work a conventional nine to five, these are some tools that I've been using to spend less time working and more time living. The first one is ask books. You all know that I love reading books and you never know what one thing can completely change your life. So this is an AI tool that you can actually ask books and authors different questions and it uses AI to answer questions and give you a lot of good info. So like real quick here, let's look for atomic habits. We're going to ask the book a question. How to make a new habit stick processing. This is a little bit slow. I'm not going to lie. Still waiting. Come on, come on, come on. All right, it's a little slow. This is actually really great information that is all taken from the book, which is super cool. First off, you need to start by defining your desired behavior clearly, making the habit attractive, breaking it down into small manageable steps. Just so much great information just off of that one thing. It summarizes the whole book pretty much. And you can ask it any question you want. We can even ask Gary Vaynerchuk if he thinks uh, that social media is a positive or a negative. Spoiler alert, he, he thinks it's a net positive. You can ask 20 questions per month for free and then after that you gotta start paying, but I think it's a really good tool, saves you a lot of time. I really like it. The next one is an app called Forest. If you're like me and you're kind of competitive or you just like cute things, then this might really help you stay productive. So pretty much you plant a virtual tree for however long you want and then it starts a timer. And as long as you remain in the app, you don't go and check your email, take a phone, call, text, start watching TikTok, then your tree will continue to grow. It'll get cuter, it'll get bigger. But if you get off the app, your tree will die. And we don't want that to happen. You can also do this as a group. And you don't need to just use this while working. You can use this while you're cooking, while you don't wanna be on your phone, while you wanna have some time with your family. Plant a stinking tree, set your phone for 20 minutes, and then you can't touch it or your tree dies. It sounds so stupid, but like, I I've literally like, almost gone off of it and I'm like, no, oh, I don't want my tree to die. It actually works. Most of us know about ChatGBT. There's so many different things you can use that for, but actually a really good way to access it, especially on my phone, is with Poe. It is super, super quick. It's very smooth. We'll get more into specific ways to use ChatGPT uh, in a little bit, but like, let's just ask it to outline a course on minimalism. And it gives us this entire outline right here and you can go more in depth. You can have it do so many different things. Super smooth. So if you're looking to use ChatGPT on your phone, this is a great way to do it. It does cost money. So if you don't use ChatGPT a lot, that's probably not worth it. But if you do, it's super cool. Another really good one is Parplexity. What I really like about but this one is it gives you a, a ton of references for everything. So let's say we type in how to save 10K fast. It'll break down exactly how to do that. And then it'll give you references as to where each thing came from. So if you wanna dive more into a specific point, you just click on the link, go to whatever website it came from. And you can also save your conversation history as threads, really easy. Next up, we have Notion AI. If you don't know what Notion is, it is one of the ways that I keep track of everything that I do mostly. Pretty much you can schedule things, keep track of a bunch of different things. I use it to kind of keep track of all my videos and what's going on with them. It has AI built right into it, which is super, super cool. You can have it continue writing for you. So if you're, you're writing something out, you're kind of stuck a little bit this can help just continue writing for you you can have it summarize your, your page or whatever you're writing you can have it improve your writing change the tone maybe if you had a deadline that changed or you don't know what to do next on a project that you're working on you can have it find action items for you just a bunch of, of really useful things that i've been using personally and the best part is notions free although i think it's limited how many things you can ask it so it's a really cool tool by the way if you're getting any value out of this don't forget to subscribe it is free and you can always unsubscribe later the next one is chat gbt summarize everything. Like we said, I, I really like summaries. This is a Chrome extension that is super easy to add. It is free. Yay. And you can use it to summarize any web page. So you go to a web page, it's long. You don't know what's going on. You don't like to read unless it's pictures. Maybe that's just me. With just one click, it'll summarize the entire article, break it down into five, 10, whatever steps. Super simple to use, save you a lot of time. It can summarize the transcript of a YouTube video, which you can use to turn it into an email or other things. Very cool tool. It's definitely worth just thrown on your browser and then you always have that option when the time comes and you know what time that is to just click and you got it. Chat GPT, but for cooking, not what you were expecting, I know. So there's so many things that you can use Chat GPT for. You can have it help write you stuff, research stuff, ask it any questions you want, give templates and outlines for things, but you can also use it to help you with 
cooking. You can get recipe suggestions based on the ingredients that you have available, dietary restrictions. You can have to do meal planning for you if you are kind of out of ideas. You can have it create a grocery list based on that meal plan. You can have it offer you cooking tips, nutritional information, food storage tips, cooking techniques. And we've actually used this a couple times to just try uh, getting new ideas for our meal planning because sometimes you kind of get stuck. So I think a lot of it is just thinking outside of the box with having problems that you deal with all the time if you're really annoyed and you don't want to do something, see if you can get at least a jump start with one of these tools, especially ChatGPT, and it can help you uh, kind of at least get the ball rolling and give you new ideas and kind of spark some creativity with whatever you're working on, really. The next one is Hyperwrite, and it has like one specific tool that I think has really helped me. Something that's really cool is you can get the help of AI on any web page. You kind of just pull up their template library and you can decide what you're doing. Maybe you're writing an email, doing marketing, whatever it is. They also have an AI chat that you can talk to, ask it questions, kind of like ChatGPT, but you just pull it up right to the side. But I think the best thing, especially for me, because I run out of ideas all the time, is while you're writing, it suggests the next thing that you should say. So you can't really get stuck. If you're out of ideas, you don't know what to say next, it'll kind of give you a little nudge at least on what to say. So super cool tool. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next week.